check, mic check, mic check. Are we in here? Are we in here? Can y'all hear me? Let me know. I hope there's not an echo. Let me mute everything. Put your aliens in the chat if you in here. Uh, go ahead and like and share, like and share, like and share. Uh, we will get started in uh, just a minute. I'm ready. Are you ready? What's up, squad? How y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, y'all. I missed y'all, even though it's only been a few hours, okay? It's only been a few hours. I came on uh, late last night, honey. We was on to the crack of dawn, honey, talking, talking about the BET Awards and stuff, and then YouTube snatched my video. All because I played that Lizzo clip, That's that short 25-second clip. They got me, okay? But I appealed it. They they said it's going to be back up in 48 hours, whatever. But in the meantime, uh, if y'all want to see the video from last night, I have put the link in the uh, community tab, and you can go watch it over on Facebook. Uh, speaking of Facebook, y'all know we stream simultaneously over here on YouTube and on the Facebook. See, shout out DL Shula over there on the Facebook right now. Okay, my Facebook, for those of you who are interested, is uh, facebook.com slash straight from the A. Straight from the A. Just like the little sign behind me that my big head be covering every day. Straight from the A.com. Okay, shout out to all the straight from the A's in the building. Okay, and listen, before I get started, okay, I have to say a quick shout out to all the people in the green. You see all the people in the green. Those are the channel sponsors over here on YouTube. Okay. They listen, they pay and stuff and they, you know, they, they give a little donation and stuff every month and they help support the channel. And I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate them because I know times is hard and you know we don't have to do it so y'all say thank you to each one of them also i would be remiss if i didn't mention my patreon members because they give even a little bit more okay <laughs> they give even a little bit more over over there on the patreon so if you want to uh contribute to my channel in any way you know listen i am grateful and thankful that you are even here watching okay uh the people who don't uh, uh subscribe on patreon or the members i appreciate y'all too because y'all just here you know because any click and view is a, a blessing okay it's a blessing to have all y'all watching me because i'm like y'all watching little on me y'all watching little on me come on here just to drag the damn uh <laughs> The, the 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 real housewives every week y'all come to see me talk about that y'all come and get the nini news they said i'm the nini news network honey i said what i am the nini news network i gotta change my name from michelle at elliot brown to the nini news network because they said that they be mad when i don't come and spill the tea about nini they be mad when they hear it from somewhere else because they know i'm gonna tell the real okay now Listen, speaking of Nene, okay, uh, College Hill premiered uh, after the BET uh, Awards. I don't even know why I keep wanting to say the BET Hip Hop Awards. It's not hip hop, it's the regular Smegler Award Show. So after the BET Awards show, College Hill, the first episode premiered on BET. So uh, listen, the Real Housewives of Atlanta had some competition. <laughs> 
<laughs> they had some competition this week and you would never guess who won in a head-to-head -head battle between the Real Housewives of Atlanta and College Hill. Who do you think got the most views? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Real Housewives of Atlanta got the most views? Press one. If you think College Hill got the most views, press eight. I want to see what y'all think. And we're going to dive into the numbers in just a second, honey. You said you love College Hill. Oh, everybody watch the College Hill. Look at all the people. I'm late. Okay, listen, I'm on time, honey. I may not come when you call me, but I am right on time. Okay. <laughs> listen. Oh, they said the eight. Oh, people believe that the college hill got. Oh. <laughs> well, if you guesstimated that college hill got more views than the real housewives of Atlanta, you are absolutely correct okay um first of all i know the people who are fans of the real housewives of atlanta are going to say that it was all because of the bt awards the bt awards was on so nobody was watching just like they said the oscars was on and nobody was watching just like they said the grammys was on and nobody was watching Every day is something on and nobody's watching. Look, 90 Day Fiance was on and nobody was watching. But whatever the case may be, let's dive into these numbers, shall we? Y'all know who I always go to, uh, Showbuzz Daily, to get my uh, my daily fix. And y'all can do that too. They release the numbers uh, early in the morning uh, on Tuesdays for the Sunday uh, uh, shows. So let's see what Showbuzz had to say. You know, we like to see actual receipts hanging around here. Let me share my screen really quickly. Showbuzz, bam. Okay. Ooh, the cable networks. Okay, let's go on. Let's grow all the way down. Okay, look, the BET Awards was number one. Got like two million people. Two million people was watching it. Look, 2 million people was watching it over there. And then another 1.4 million watched it again at 11.30. Look at all the people that was tuned into the EBT, I mean, uh, the BET Awards. <laughs> and look, College Hill. College Hill, the celebrity edition came on and got 854,000 views. And let's scroll on down, see, uh, look, the BET um uh, Red carpet was number nine. Okay, naked and afraid was number eight. And look, there go Real Housewives of Atlanta, number ten. Okay, with seven hundred and twenty-two thousand. Actually, um, they did. I guess they did pretty good. But um, College Hill did better. Okay, College Hill did better. Uh, they got a hundred and something thousand more than uh than uh the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and it may be because. You know, Nene was making her television debut over on BET, okay? BET, somebody said T from China said, Nene, breathe that life into me, okay? Michelle, I still can't believe little Kim, she looked a mess. Woo, child, we talked about them for two hours last night, so y'all go watch my video, okay? YouTube will probably put it back up tomorrow, but if y'all can't wait till tomorrow till YouTube put it back up, Go to the community tab and click on the link and watch my uh, BET award show review because we got into every little thing. Now, uh, you said Big Frida and Nene, but really all the castmates were good. They were. They were. I watched the first episode. I haven't watched the second yet, but I will watch it and we're going to come and we are going to review that. Um, I'm going to put it on my calendar. Hopefully we can do that tomorrow. We can review College Hill. But uh, yes, College Hill beat the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And everybody seems like they were really surprised. You know, Nene came. Nene was one of the first people to come into the house. Then we got Stacey Dash, Lamar Odom, Big Frida, India Love, Dream Doll, Ray J, and Lamar Odom. And did I say Stacey Dash? I said Stacey Dash. Stacey a little off, though. Stacey a little off. So that'll be interesting, you know, to see what's going to happen with Stacey Dash. And, you know, she don't, 
She don't like the transgenders and the gays. You know, she is real conservative. She is very, very conservative. So we shall see. You know, she was a Fox News correspondent and she doesn't consider herself black. You know, she considers herself biracial Mexican. She said she was Mexican and black. She's like a Claudia Jordan. But then again, Claudia Jordan, let me get big for this. I'm still talking, got the ratings up. And, you know, I'll be comparing Stacey. <laughs> Stacey Dash to Cla Claudia Jordan because, you know, that's that tragic mulatto syndrome. They don't really realize that they're biracial. You know, they're half this and half that. And that's wonderful. But, you know, sometimes they want to claim to be all black uh, when it suits them. And that's when I give people the side eye because you sit over on your high horse and look at us black people like uh, we don't matter or talk about us being so dark. And then when it benefits you, all of a sudden you want to be black. But I'm digressing. Okay, I'm digressing. Um, you said I was apprehensive about College Hill with celebs, but this mashup of cast is actually refreshing. It really is. And Slim Thug is so like cool and suave, honey. He got that that Houston thing going. He you know talking all slow and stuff, and he all tall and he a little sexy. He looking at the women, you know. It's all it's cute, honey. Then you got Ray J over there acting crazy with his little self just popping off at the mouth little short man syndrome it's fun i think it's gonna be a good time okay i think it's gonna be a real good time he said claudia appears in this world as a black woman okay well allegedly allegedly that's what they say she's black this year okay she's black this year because she over there on flop so but that's neither here nor there that ain't my business you said stacy dash was sickening okay stacy has issues she really does stacy should not sign that contract if she was had those homophobic views but i don't think they knew i don't think they knew oh see y'all got me look i'm drinking a red bull because i need some energy don't get me don't get me lord but anyway uh yes i don't think she knew who was gonna be in the house with her you know when everybody came they didn't know who was gonna come so you know nini was the first person in the house and she was waiting on people to come then it was lamar odom and then it was ray j and then it was slim thug and then it was it then it was big freedom so yeah you know when by the time stacy dash got there everybody was there she looking around like she didn't want to talk to nobody like who is this these people we don't know these people <sighs> but i'm digressing i guess you know it's time for us to uh go ahead and uh <laughs> dive into i'm talking about college here i said i wasn't gonna talk about college here but uh i really really want to dive into college here but i want to watch both the episodes first before i do that and i haven't i've only watched the first one that uh clearly a million almost a million of y'all watch too shoot I, I probably should be here talking about college hill instead of um the real housewives what y'all think what do y'all think you said lamar wanted nini Ooh, you think lamar wanted nini i can't do nasty lamar that, i thought that was like her brother she knew what network she was on stacy dash needed that money you know stacy dash been locked up for domestic violence she been had issues with alcohol drugs and alcohol allegedly she's you know she's slurring her words on the show i still think she got an issue she can't be around people while they drinking she on the wagon oh it's too much going on did you see her i guess i'll talk about college here anyway <laughs> And did you see her in that dang dance class? Did you see her in that damn dance class? She <laughs> 50 years old, can't get a step, honey. You, she looked like she was a little, a little off balance. <laughs> so I don't know. And then she was getting mad at the girls for telling her she needs to learn her, stat, her, her steps, honey. And she's like, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, she knew how to do her hair, though. She knew how to do that. <laughs> But it was it was amazing. It was amazing. So anywho, y'all mad at my wig? Why you mad at my wig? You, my wig or her wig? Which wig you talking about? Okay, you talking about Stacey Dash wig or my wig? I don't know, but whatever the case may be. Um, why are you worried about wigs anyway, Mark? You wear wigs? I be looking at men who be talking about wigs sideways. Like, do you wear wigs? I don't know. Big Frida wear wigs, so I like Big Frida wigs. But I'm digressing. She said she only took ballet. You remember when Stacey Dash was in, um, she was in Kanye's video for Through the Wire. You remember that back in the day? Stacey Dash used to be, she used to be black before she turned into whoever she is now. 
you know, she was the only black girl on Clueless. Y'all remember that? Stacy used to be black. And they said Dame Dash was her cousin or whatever. And so she used to be around all the rappers and stuff. So I don't know what happened to Stacy. I haven't followed her career um, like that. But when she got involved, you know, with the white men, she started getting white husbands and stuff like that. She, her, her whole situation just changed. Her whole train of thought just changed. So there's that. He said, I'm talking about, about Stacey and Nene only because Stacey was a mess. Nene wasn't a mess. Nene was being Nene. Nene was being cordial. Nene, you know, being the first person in the house, she was making margaritas for everyone. She was welcoming. Even the younger girls, Dream Doll and India Love, when they came in the house, you know, they probably looked up to Nene as being one of the major reality stars, like Nene said when she was on her way there. It gets me every time. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the candy coated click. Look, they got me frozen all crazy. Let me take myself off real quick. Hold on. We got a reboot. Talk amongst y'all selves. And while y'all um get y'all some beverage and stuff, because we're going to be here for a while and we're going to chat about these shows. Hold on. I'm about to reboot. My money said that that's happening because I'm talking about candy. <laughs> it was you, my money, who did it to me. I knew somebody did it, honey. Every time we mention somebody, my machine frees up. I don't know what it is. And I know y'all be talking about it's my Wi-Fi. It is not my Wi-Fi. It is my computer, honey. It is my um I don't even want to talk about it. It's my um my my gaming computer for some reason. I don't know what it is. It starts to download updates. And I keep forgetting that, you know, I don't have it on most of the day. And then I turn it on to come on live and I forget that it hasn't did its update. And it just automatically start up. I turn it on first before I get started. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Uh, you said, oh, well, that damn computer. Okay. The damn computer. It's day four. Okay. It's a thousand people in here watching me. And you know, this is live, so sometimes she'll happen. Okay. Um, will you discuss Wendy Williams on TMZ? She doesn't look well. Wendy is on the agenda. Okay. Wendy is on the agenda. You said it's Stacy Bleacher. I don't know what Stacy is doing, but Stacy looked a mess. Okay. College Hill is on BET Plus, but I believe you can watch the first episode on BET because it aired after the BET Awards. Now, uh, if you're gonna get into the season. You have to buy BET Plus, and I think it's like three ninety nine a month or something like that. I think you get the first week free or something if you uh, sign up on your phone. So 
There's that. Why y'all in here promote other content creators? Don't be doing that over here. I don't be over on their channel promoting myself. Don't be coming over here promoting other content creators. Can we make a deal? Can we make a deal and do that, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. You must be new here, okay? Anywho, okay. Um, let me see what we talking about today. Oh, we talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta, child. We talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Um, uh, this week uh was pretty interesting i guess i don't know because clearly y'all didn't watch it when it came on but uh it was episode uh eight of uh the real housewives of atlanta getting through the season really really quickly honey and uh this week was interesting because marlo and kenya got into it over candy like why is kenya fighting over candy now i'm gonna get to that in a second but um Finally, we get to see uh, what's going on with Drop It With Drew, <laughs> as if we care. Okay, uh, Drew invited all the ladies to work out with Drop It With Drew. Okay, y'all just getting here. We talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, season 14, episode eight. Okay, uh, <laughs> you said you sleep already. <laughs> Listen, I do this for y'all. Y'all ask me for this. See, I could be sitting upstairs watching TV too. <laughs> y'all said you wanted me to come on Tuesday and talk about the real housewives of Atlanta. Okay, I'm talking about the real housewives of Atlanta, and then I'm gonna talk about Nene and her lawsuit, and I'm gonna talk about Wendy Williams. So let me get through this real housewives of Atlanta first. Okay, can I do that first? It ain't gonna take that long. It ain't gonna take that long. I promise you. So the, the first thing. <laughs> Drop it with Drew. Drop it with Drew. You know, everybody dragging Drew, talking about she lost 25 pounds in however many weeks and all that. And she did it because she dropped it with Drew. She started her weight loss program that included meal plans and everything. And so since the ladies had been shading her about her website not being up and all that, they decide she decided to invite them all to experience Drop It with Drew. So they came, all the ladies came, they weighed each other on screen. We found out that Candy weighed 155 pounds and Marlo weighed 188 pounds and Sheree weighed somewhere in the middle. We also found out that Sheree got a big old booty. We found out that Kenya got a fake booty, but we've been known Kenya got a fake booty. But that's besides the point. Everybody had on their workout clothes and everybody came to do workout. Now, uh, we also found out that Drew... It isn't necessarily Drew's company. Drew is just the face of the company. She keeps talking about her business partner this, her business partner that. So she brought out the lady who was her business partner. And so the ladies decided to grill her business partner. They found out that the lady started the dang business many, many years ago. And that, you know, she's been doing this for a minute. And, you know, she reached out to Drew because she wanted to expand her business into the Atlanta area. See, Drew kind of kept that little bit under wraps, even though we didn't care. So everybody's saying next. Everybody don't care. Why y'all don't care about Drew's business? I think we need to know about um, Drew's business. Okay. Um, you said, let me see what y'all say in this chat. And you said, Sheree is most hated, but look at her website to find out she still don't have no clothes. She still don't have no clothes. She, she by Sheree is still not here, but Sheree had a, she by Sheree mat and a, she by Sheree water bottle. So apparently, you know, she doing something. Okay. Uh, Candy and Marlo Sheree scene didn't make any sense. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. So, um, anyway, it's just, you know, uh, Kenya seems to, um, really want to be Candy's bodyguard for some reason, because whenever Marlo and Sheree and whoever else throws shade at Candy, here come Kenya, you know, to say the day. So, you know, Kenya had heard them kind of, you know, talking about or whatever. And so she decided that she would get in the middle and tell, uh, Candy, that you know marlo and them had been saying certain things and then you know marlo got in her face now that but before all of that happened <sighs> somebody broke into candy house and we don't know who it is somebody said it was beyonce cousin no the man said he was beyonce cousin but then he said he was a uh, ti's son <laughs> and he didn't look like neither one of them he looked like a crazy man but we don't know uh candy's nanny who candy said was her friend who was keeping uh the children i think it was the nanny though katrina was at the house and she said that the man had hopped the fence and was sitting on the porch like she thought it was amazon so candy had a little scare honey they had to leave early to go see what that was all about but um kenya kenya is really like i don't know what's going on with kenya it's between 
uh, Kenya and Marlo, and Kenya's always, you know, throwing shade at Marlo, Marlo throwing shade at Kenya, but Kenya's only doing it because Marlo's throwing shade at Candy. Uh, we finally got to see Manetta, Manetta Shaw. I think, what's her last name now? I think her last name is something else now. I think it might be Carter, Manetta Carter. She got married. She used to be uh, Neo's, the singer Neo's fiance. She has two children by Neo. She was also in, on Atlanta X's. She's a staple in Atlanta. She's She's been around for quite a while. She also hangs out with Candy and, you know, the crew and Monica and Toya and all of them. And so, you know, Monetta was there also. There was a lot of people that Monetta was there. Um, Sonya and her husband was there. Of course, Drew and Ralph was there. All Everybody and their husband was there. But um, Marlo and uh, Kenya ended up getting into it because uh Manetta uh expressed that uh Candy was feeling some kind of way about some of the things that was being said uh behind her back. You said, "Hold on, Marlo is a baby Nini. I don't know if we want to compare all that. I don't know if we want to compare Marlo to Nini. Marlo is Marlo. Marlo don't know how to read. Marlo just know how to act gutter and push buttons." Okay? Uh but um Kenya uh said that Marlo, that uh, Candy said she ain't effing with Marlo right now, you know, because that's how Candy do. You know, she's like, I ain't effing with you because you've been talking behind my back and I'm not liking it. So apparently uh, Marlo <laughs> was pissed off because Kenya had to speak up for, you know, the puppet master Candy. And uh, Marlo started, you know, throwing insults at Kenya, talking about, you know, she got a, a fix a flat booty and all that stuff that, you know, the same old insult they've been talking about Kenya for years. Uh, she also threw uh, Mark Daly into the mix because, you know, Kenya kept talking about she ain't got no man. And, and Marlo was like, well, shit, you ain't got no man either with your man. <laughs> And, you know, it was, you know, the insults were what they were. They was insults. And I guess that's what, you know, Bravo thinks we want to see from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We want to see these black ladies insulting each other about where your baby daddy at, where your husband at, where your man at. I got a beautiful child out of him. No, you didn't. You ain't shit. Blah, 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 blah. They was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, you said Milo's puppet master is Carlos King. Is that who it is? Milo digging at candy is funny this season. It's a mess, honey. But uh, what was interesting is, you know, Kenya always talking about people getting up in her face. Remember uh, last season, season before when she was talking about Nene almost attempted to spit on her, like put them words together, almost attempted to spit on her, which means didn't no spit come out her mouth. But there's that. But uh, you remember Kenya was like, you know, she don't like getting physical and all that, but she can bring bull horns and and scepters and everything else to the reunion she could do all kind of things in everybody else face but when somebody get in her face it's like what the hell so marlo was all you know saying what she had to say she wasn't raising her hands but she was you know throwing insults and kenya got all in marlo's face and i'm like oh y'all know marlo can't raise a blade they better pull marlo away because you know y'all know what marlo did honey you said kenya always put her hands up in folks face then cries about it when somebody put her hands on her okay that's not physical that's physical to me because if you get too close and a finger touch my nose it's on and popping okay she was really really close she was really really close so um you know, they had to pull the two apart and stuff. You know, Marlo looked like she was, she was like, listen, Marlo was like, I wasn't waving my hand. She was waving her hand. So, you know, if anything going to pop off, it's going to be from Kenya. Okay. You said that was personal space. Space is space, honey. I don't know. I think that's a little, it almost got physical. It could have got physical. If somebody would have bumped into it, it would have been. Exactly. Call security, Anthony. Call security um <clears throat> marlo was outside talking about um after they pulled him apart marlo outside talking about so i would never i would never talk about nobody's family you know because you know can you talk about you know marlo and foster care and all this stuff you know it, both of them were going below the belt but you know uh bravo seemed to remind us that marlo did talk about kenya's mama back in the day and said that you know kenya was was so disgusting that her mama didn't even want him. Remember when Marlo said all that? Well, Bravo is reminding you. So they pull in the footage. And also Kenya talking about she don't put no, her, her hands in nobody's face. Bravo had the footage of Kenya, you know, putting stuff in people's face. So there is that. You said that's disrespectful respect for putting your hands or fingers in people's face and then let's not talk about getting low in the gutter like even though marlo was talking about kenya's fix of that flat booty and all of that uh let's not forget that kenya called tanya 
uh see you in t or see you next tuesday and we like wait a minute what black women call other black women see you next tuesdays so kenya can get just as gutter honey as um as Marlo. Uh, but another thing that happened during Drop It With Drew that I found interesting is uh, Senya going to Ralph and uh, Drew for marital advice. Like, wait, I thought you ain't like her. What? Like, all of a sudden, you want to talk to her and try to figure out how they manage with their kids and, and, you know, with her wanting to be a career woman? I'm just confused. Apparently, Sanya uh, wants a child. Uh, well, her husband wants a child, and Sanya doesn't want to have one because she feels like she wants to be a business one. She wants to be out there, honey. She has things she needs to do. She needs to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta in another five years, and she not want to be popping out babies for her husband while he ain't there and while, you know, her sister and her mama and her nephews and everybody living in that house. So she is, you know, torn and uh, she asked Drew for advice and Drew telling her, you know, you need to do what your husband wants you to do. You know, we're women. <laughs> we're women. If your husband wants you to have a baby, you need to do that because, you know, he may uh, grow to resent you. And then Sanya was like, well, shit, I may grow to resent him. Like, hell, yeah, like, why I got to do what he want me to do? But I was like, well, why is you asking Drew? <laughs> We already know what's up with Drew because Ralph be leaving for weekends and Drew don't even know where he is. But, you know, there's that. You said Sonya was wrong for that. I don't like females who go to other females' husbands about their marriage, okay? <sighs> Anywho, you said Drew was 100. You think so, Jay? Did you? Would you do something your uh, spouse don't want you to do? I feel like that it was a, um, it needs to be a mutual decision. You think I, um, I like this episode? I don't know about all that, but I like talking to y'all, okay? I like talking to you guys. Let me see what else I got in here. Let me see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's talk about um the scene with uh Candy and Marlo and Sheree, okay? Uh, they scheduled like a little girls outing, okay? Candy, uh, Marlo and Sheree. Marlo uh, and Sheree meet at uh, a little spa. They was gonna have a little girl spa day. Uh, Sheree got there first. Marlo arrived. Uh, shortly afterwards, they got undressed and got into the sauna. You know, they, you know, everything was gonna be like cool. They was gonna sit around and just shoot the ish. Okay, Candy gets there, honey, with her newly flat ironed weave. Okay, <laughs> and her tags, midi tight dress, and she come walking in like she got somewhere to be. Um, and it's interesting because uh, it's almost like candy is like on the clock clocking in clocking out let me go shoot this scene real quick with these girls child i gotta make it over to the olg game i ain't got time to shoot these scenes with these people that i don't like okay so candy goes to um to the spa and she refused to even uh get dressed for the spa i'm just trying to figure out like why you go you didn't know it was the spa and then she gonna say that um you know, she didn't want to get her hair nappy, okay? She didn't want her hair to be nappy. Now, if Eva can be dragged for calling her nappy, Candy can too, but I'm digressing, okay? Um, anyway, so Candy gets there. Candy's like, I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. I don't want to get my hair messed up. I'm not changing clothes. I just got to talk to y'all from out here. So they out here, and I mean, Candy's out here. They out here. Candy sitting by the shower. They trying to talk through the door. We saw that didn't go well because eventually they opened the door and they talked to each other or whatever. But Marlo was trying to explain to Candy how she felt like Candy was a friend. Sheree trying to explain to Candy how she felt that Candy didn't check on her. Meanwhile, Candy like, I understand why I got to check on you bitches. Y'all don't check on me. And so it's like, Candy, but you are supposed to be the matriarch. <laughs> of the show <laughs> you are supposed to be the queen b you are the highest paid like you need to check on everybody why is it that um candy i don't know candy needs to just, can just glide by she don't have to talk to nobody she don't have to call nobody on the phone she don't have to be friends with nobody she ain't got to do nothing okay but you know whatever the case may be some people kind of understood some people like candy got her own family to take care of what she need to uh you know check on marlo and sharae for but you know at the end of the day this is a show they're supposed to be friends should they all check on each other you said they was gaslighting candy you think so i don't know you know candy now is the queen b honey candy and like she is the og so she needs to um step up to the og plate okay candy earned that candy is the puppet master all of the alliances have broken up okay and candy is there you know li listen can you low-key be shading candy too so i feel like you know candy needs to step up 
and be a friend. I didn't say I didn't like her. I'm just saying she needs to step up and be a friend. Okay. Um, anyway, so you know, they feel a ways, you know. Listen, <sighs> it's just too much. Okay, I'm almost through. I'm almost through. Uh, what about let me see? Let me see. Blah, 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 blah. What else I got? What else do I have? Uh, Manetta, and then they, you know, they went to like a little candle making session, Manetta, and uh, who was Manetta and Candy? And was it Kenya? Manetta Candy and Kenya. Yes, they went and made some candles and they was talking. And um, really, Kenya is still telling, you know, Candy that she felt a, um, a ways about the um, the vibrating panties. And, and like I told y'all before, it finally came out that Kenya did not like her sending a half-naked woman to her house when Brooklyn was, uh, was there as well. And, you know, Manetta kind of agreed with her. And Candy tried to uh, stop Manetta from saying <laughs> Candy tried to shut Manetta up because Manetta was like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I feel a kind of ways too, you know. And then about the about the draws, Candy still trying to say, hey, just a game. Loosen up. I don't know. Why you take it so serious? My friends wouldn't have did that. And Manetta was like, eh. I don't know about that either. Somebody else had control of the remote. So yes, Candy was wrong. And I don't know when she's going to admit it or why, but she will admit it. Even on Watch What Happens Live, I saw that because, you know, it was attached to, to um, the stream on Xfinity, like I keep telling y'all. Even on Watch What Happens Live, when uh, Sonya and them brought it up and Andy uh, asked the guest, I can't remember who the guest was, how she felt about it. She said it was wrong too. Is our candy storyline the vibrating panties? Y'all calling that lady R. Candy. <laughs> First, y'all gave her candy cruise. Now she R. Candy. <laughs> I can't take it. She does not know her the boundaries of uh people's, you know, private parts. Like, girl, if people say they do not want their uh private parts vibrated, let it go. Just let it go. Why you keep trying to force people to do it? Um, let me see what else, what else, what else, what else? I guess that's all I got. Uh, next week, um, yeah, whatever. Brooklyn having another party, yada 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 yada. So, um, if from a, from a rating of one to ten, I know a bunch of y'all didn't watch it according to the ratings. Okay, uh, what would y'all give this episode? A one for being the worst and a ten for being the best. What would y'all say about? uh this particular episode i know manetta was there she made a cute little appearance and maybe we will see more of her in the future but i feel like um i feel like uh sanya is still showing that she's kind of snakeish because if drew is not your friend if you don't like her if you keep calling her out why of all people would you go to drew and her husband for marital advice about when you should have another child i'm confused about that uh, also, the Marlo and Kenya fight. People are really in their feelings about Marlo and Kenya. They're saying that uh, Marlo, you know, did too much. They're saying Marlo did too much about, you know, going to the gutter and talk about, you know, uh, throwing jabs at uh, Kenya about her husband never being there, all that. But then most people, I guess, are giving Kenya a pass for getting in Marlo's face. I don't think either one of them deserve a pass. Honestly, I really don't. But uh, there's that. Okay, it's a mixture. You got some ones and some fours. Okay, some zeros and some twos. Okay, uh, you said sweaty Murphy Sanya Sanya needs to go. Mm. Well, there's that. Lisa should come back and fire Drew. Ooh, Marlo needs to be a comedian. Okay, well. Speaking of uh, Bravo, let's move on to our next topic. Uh, shout out to uh, everyone in the chat. We have 1,400 people in the chat right now. It is late, honey. It is late. I like these late night lives. Um, peep game, peep game, peep game. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Lisa Lisa Wu is going to be, be on next week. You said Lisa need to come and fire somebody and get rid of somebody. Okay. Yes, Lisa Wu. Shout out to Lisa Wu, honey. I don't know. Lisa was in her feelings uh, on uh, Carlos King's show. Remember, we talked about that. Lisa Wu's real name, Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> hey, Sharon, girl. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny to me. Because when she filed for divorce, she had to use her real name. So everybody knew her, her real name is Sharon uh, Millet or something like that. But I'm digressing. Um, Lisa Wu is her stage name. Now, um, getting back to <laughs> the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Remember, Lisa was mad, honey. She said that Nene uh, should have said that she wanted to bring her back instead of bringing KKKKK Kim back. And so... You know, she felt the ways, but you know, nobody cared. Lisa was born back in the day, you know, and Ed left her and stuff. And then the 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 real nasty stuff happened after Ed left, and he was messing with Keisha Knight pulling him and going back and forth between that other lady. Ed was a player, it was all kind of stuff going on. But I'm digressing. Okay. Speaking of Bravo, speaking of Bravo, uh, it's uh 1400 of y'all in here. Go ahead, like this video, please, and share it, share it, share it. Shout out to Facebook. Press the thumbs up over there on Facebook, please. Share it over there as well. Uh, yes, uh, Lisa was, I don't know. Lisa didn't give what it was supposed to give back then when she was on the show. She was on season one and a part of season two. But, you know, she's a nice person. I like Lisa. I see her all the time. Now, <clears throat> everybody's been asking about NeNe Leaks and this lawsuit and what's going on with the lawsuit. Now, listen, listen. Bravo and Andy, <clears throat> Bravo uh, and Andy and all of the executives that have been named in the lawsuit have uh, filed some paperwork with the court. You know, they want to keep Nene quiet. They said they do not want it tried in the, um, the court of social media, the court of public opinion, because, you know, uh, clearly... You know, we have been saying that Bravo has been showing some racist tendencies for years now. We've been calling out KKK Kim. We've been, you know, listen, a lot of their personalities have been caught doing things like blackface, have been caught, you know, saying the N-word. It's been a lot going on. People have been keeping track. Now people are starting to look and see that there is some uh, basis on this lawsuit that Nene Leakes filed. And uh, Bravo is in here for it and 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 they're noticing they're noticing that there is power in the tongue there's power in these numbers and if you notice when we call for this boycott even though we still watch it low-key everywhere else <laughs> we still watch low-key everywhere else apparently uh them numbers are speaking to them as well the numbers are lower than low they never listen the real housewives of atlanta numbers have never been this low and people are calling it the Nene leaks effect okay that being said uh you may have noticed on uh Nene's on Nene's Twitter a few days ago she said that she was no longer going to speak about this lawsuit okay and people interpreted that to mean that you know that she was dropping the lawsuit that she wasn't gonna talk that you know all kinds of things but but apparently you know since they are asking for arbitration <clears throat> private arbitration it's not going to be public it's going to be closed it's going to be sealed that you know she is following her attorney's instructions okay now uh this was released today which kind of coincides with what she said on uh social media last week okay nene leaks has been fighting with andy cohen and bravo blah blah, blah over their attempt to move her bombshell lawsuit accusing them of retaliation behind closed doors okay radar online got the court documents honey and they're showing that NBC Universal, who owns Bravo, Andy Cohen, and the rest of the producers, True Entertainment, and all those people that she named in the lawsuit <clears throat> of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, have informed the court of the dispute. Okay, uh, earlier this year, Leaks filed a suit claiming to have reported multiple incidents of racism or racist remarks by her co-star Kim, KKK Kim. Zosiak Beerman leak said the network never took any action, even though she complained time and time again. They never took any action against Kim Zosiak Beerman, but instead she claims that the network retaliated against her. Nini, in the new filing, NBC and Andy Cohen explained they want to move the case 
to private arbitration in New York, if they are able to convince a judge, that means that the entire case will be kept hidden from the public. Bravo does not want y'all to know that they might be getting ready to cut a check. Okay, Bravo does not want, that seems like, you know, it's going to be a lot of receipts coming out. It's a lot of allegations. Uh, listen, we already saw some of these receipts. We saw some of them accusations and it looks like she has a case as far as I'm concerned, but I'm digressing. Uh, the defendants cl claim that Leak's contract has a provision that states that all legal disputes will be handled in arbitration. Leaks and her lawyer have disagreed with this stance. And I would um, suspect that Nene and her lawyer disagree with that stance because, hell, she's no longer under contract at this point. <laughs> she's no longer under contract with Bravo. Y'all was talking about why she waits so long to go to court. Why she waits so long to file. She probably waited so that she wouldn't be under the non-compete and anything else that uh, is in her contract. So, anywho, uh, hopefully a judge will uh, deny this so we can find out what's going on because we want to know. We nosy. Uh, it said the parties agreed to push the deadline by 45 days to allow them to work out a deal. So apparently, you know, they've been talking to each other. The attorneys have been talking to each other to allow them to work out a deal. Seems like uh, they're uh, trying to figure out if they should pay to make this go away. Now, in the lawsuit, Leak's lawyer wrote, from the day the series began filming, Nene was the target of sy systemic racism from co-star Kim zosiak Beerman, which was tolerated by Bravo executive producer Andy Cohen and other executives. In October 2017, Leek said it all hit the fan when Kim zosiak Beerman and her daughter publicly attacked her with a claim that her new home was a effing roach nest. She took to Instagram to speak out against her former co-star, but was then reportedly told by the network to delete her social media posts. Now, you remember that? Um, Kim and Brielle was in the bathroom and Brielle saw what appeared to be a wasp uh, and a water bug or something in the bathroom. And she uh, had a video of it. I think I had posted it on my website at the time. And uh, then Kim showed the ladies and said Nene lived in an effing roach nest. And then Nene hit social media and said if Brielle saw a roach, it fell out of her effing funky P. <laughs> you remember that? Well, you know, they made Nene delete all of those social media posts. However, they didn't make uh, Kim say anything or delete her uh, claims, which was interesting as well. Uh, as you know, Leak star on the RHOA, uh, starred on RHOA from its launch in 2008 through 2020. In court docs, she said after complaining about Zosiak Beerman, the producers and the network made her life hell for years with lowball offers and dirty games to make her look bad during production. Further, the iconic reality star claimed she was denied the right to do other work other than filming for RHOA when other housewives who had not spoken out against racially offensive tr treatment, <coughs> candy, um, were permitted <laughs> the right to do other work. Okay. Uh, Leaks also said Cohen tried to blacklist and sabotage her attempts to secure work beyond RHOA. Uh, she accused, <clears throat> excuse me, she accused the Bravo exec of interfering with a potential deal on Sirius XM radio. Cohen has admitted that he told Sirius that Miss Leaks would demand a lot of money for any role on a radio show in an obvious effort to prevent her from getting such a deal. So Andy admitted it. Okay, Andy admitted it. Cohen has yet to publicly address the allegations. And as you recall, Kim Zosiak Beerman was asked about the allegations on Carlos King's uh, nightcap show. And she kind of shrugged it off and said, I'll deal with Nene when after Nene deals with them. So, you know, whatever the case may be, Kim Zosiak isn't being sued. So we don't care what Kim got to say about this. But Kim Zosiak is just an example of being the token white girl who had 
uh, differentiating, uh, differentiating, whatever word I'm trying to use, treatment uh, while Nene was employed. So there's that. So uh, yeah, y'all, Nene gonna get a look like Nene gonna get a check, honey. I don't know what's gonna happen, but all y'all here talking about she dropped the lawsuit. She did not drop the lawsuit, but she did go on her social media and say, uh, we're not gonna talk about this anymore. <laughs> Nene said, uh, how about we just let this go for a while? We're not going to talk about this, right? You know, and um, yeah, so people thought that that meant, here it is right there. She said, um, wait a minute, let me pull it up. She said, uh, good morning, Tweety Pies. Let me put this up for y'all so y'all can see what I'm reading. She said, good morning, Tweety Pies. I guess this came across her heart. This came across her spirit. Uh, she woke up and she said, good morning, Tweety Pies. I woke up th with this on my heart. I decided I'm not saying anything else about that for now. Let's see how this goes. So, um, you know, in light of what they're saying, and she said, um, just know you should never be silenced about abuse. Sparkle and shine, Tweety Pies. Uh, it's giving me that, you know, after they filed that thing saying they wanted to do private arbitration, then he was like, well, I'll shut up for a minute to see, you know, what they're trying to do. Okay, i shut up for a minute to see if they trying to cut a check. And she said, I love y'all. It's just time to move past this. Okay, so, you know, it looks like, you know, Nene may be, you know, on the, on the fast track to, um, succeeding in her case now you know we'll see uh why do people use am instead of i i'm or am i don't know child uh sweetie was treated like a plantation man Ooh. michelle the blog goddess with the real tea thank you so much uh kim definitely had a different contract and treatment than the other girls hunty she really did okay let's see what they offer okay let's see what they talking about okay <laughs> Let me shut up for a while. Let me let me stop slick throwing shade, okay? And let's see what they talk about because you know I'm sure you know Nene on another network. She's she's succeeding right now. She's praising uh, BET. If you go to her Instagram, she has been saying you know that she loves BET. She had a great time at the BET Awards, and you know and and thank you everybody for uh, supporting her over there on um, BET. And y'all definitely tune in. Oh, wait, wait, what'd this say? It said Nene is considering a ca career change. Let's see what this said on the thing. Let me see. I just be looking, honey. Program at TS. Hey, Nene, how hey, are you? I'm doing good. Nene Leaks is going back to school on. Okay, let me put up my disclaimer, child, because the people are always trying to get me. They always trying to get me. Okay, copyright disclaimer on the section 107 of the Copyright Act. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, coming news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. We just checking in because this on her timeline. I just wanted to see what it said. College Hill Celebrity Edition. She's undergoing a, a five-week college program at TSU. And you see, y'all see Nene at TSU. Okay, there she is. Okay. Uh, there's new episodes uh, streaming weekly on BET Plus. So College Hill, you watch people go to college, like you watch them in their dorms, all that. So taking. So Nene and Big Frida are definitely the stars of the show, honey. So y'all need to tune in and catch Nene and Big Frida and everybody else and see how they interact with each other. It is a key. Celebrities and putting them in this world of like you gotta have a roommate and eat oodles and noodles. Oh, that's fun. What was your best subject in college? In college, too, I would say law. I really. She said, "Law? They studied law." I really did enjoy law. I was intimidated by it. I okay. didn't want to do it. And once I got inside the class, we were taught by Judge Walker. She's an excellent teacher. She's a character, and I, I love the way she taught me. And I really understood law. Now. She said she. So that's really neat. I I really appreciate Nene out in her element. Um, talking about you know what she's doing now and not talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Actually, considering becoming a lawyer now. Who isn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The show looks amazing. Uh, it features a ton of celebrities. Ray J. Okay, Ray J. Hey, Big Frida. 
big Frida. Uh, Lamar Odom's on it. Having celebrities at your school while you're also going to school is like the coolest thing. But also, you, you don't really like mature age students like in class and stuff like I'm digging on my nerves talking, but I just wanted to see what Nene was talking about. Yeah, I, was, I didn't want the mature age around me. You wouldn't want Lamar Odom at your at your at your class? Now nah, he's a good time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's a good time. So uh y'all tune in to uh to BET College Hill. Hit like if you are enjoying this stream, okay? Uh Nene took her married boyfriend to the BET award. She sure did. Nene says she is unbothered. She said that is a, a, a his problem and not a her problem. Okay. Uh the wife filed a lawsuit. She said that's something he needs to settle with her. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So she is still living her life and she is still clearly uh involved with um Yoni, honey. Hold on. Let's see what she got on her Instagram. I'm gonna be Nene News Network over here. I'm on any news network, y'all. Let me pull it up. Oh, somebody birthday. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, clearly they still out there, honey. They still out there. Okay, they go her and her makeup ar uh, artist. Hey, y'all. And they go, listen, they at the airport. <laughs> I guess they headed back. Okay. Uh, your birthday is this Sunday. Happy belated almost birthday. Okay. If Nene is unbothered, why she scrub his pictures? Where she scrub his pictures from? His pictures are still on her, her thingamajiggy. Okay. Uh, the Nene News Network segment his caption says we see each other oh y'all want me to go trolling let me go see let me see what's his name again hold on n-y-o-n his caption says we see each other where is that at it i'm going to see no it don't his cat i don't see no caption on his page Y'all be so nosy. Anywho, anywho, uh, also, uh, before we go, before I, uh, oh, I've been talking for an hour. I wanted to go ahead and lightly touch on Wendy Williams, okay? Uh, Y'all remember when I said during the final show, Wendy wasn't happy. They was talking about, you know, uh, her purple chair had been kicked out, had been thrown out the back door. It had been discarded along with her wigs. Well, apparently, Wendy sent somebody over there. <laughs> to wait at the back door at the trash can to get it because wendy got her purple chair back and her wigs and she's now talking to press about um the incident well not necessarily about that incident but talk about her future plans now wendy has been on a uh, tmz recently where she revealed that she has been she's working on a podcast now we don't know where it's gonna be how it's gonna be what's gonna happen but uh she did talk about it she said uh that she's coping with uh lymphedema but she is ready and willing and waiting to launch her podcast now hold on i'm, I'm gonna show it to y'all i'm gonna show it to y'all uh i gotta wait for this ad 18 seconds for this ad 16 15 14 13 12 wendy joined tmz live and said that she's um turning her back on TV for now and in, instead choosing to produce her own podcast. And for her, it all comes down to time and money. Okay. Hold on. Let's see what she had to say. Statement for somebody who's been a fixture on television that you're, you just have no interest for more anymore. than a decade. So tell us a about very it. successful one. So Mort and I are talk, and I was like, you know, I've got enough money to do something else. And Wendy's looking a little, a little out of it, just a little. I mean, she got a good wig on, but she, her, she just don't look all there in the eyes. I don't know what it is. She just okay. Let's leave. What I've never done podcast, which by the way, podcast everyone has, but when you're famous podcast will make more money for me being famous 
than doing the Wendy Williams show. So is she reading that podcast? Podcast. Everyone has one podcast. Podcast. Where will I go? I'm not sure. Europe, you know, the France, wherever I want to go. Also, I know Oz. I know, you know, many people. Many people. I'm wondering if part of the... Uh... She knows many people. Okay, she may go to Europe. I, I, I mean, she's talking a little slow, but she did say podcast about 10 times. So, like, what you gonna do? You gonna do a podcast. <laughs> The, the attraction to this is, one, that you can do it from wherever you want, uh, and the schedule is not this daily grind that you had to do uh, with your daytime show. Is that, was that part of the attraction? Yes. Will and I are in partnership. Like I told you, Will did all this for me. And Y'all say she looked fine. Y'all said she looked fine. You said Wendy might be on medication. You said something more is going on. I'm scared. Uh, Wendy is definitely reading. Listen, y'all said she looked fine. I don't know. It's looking a little weird. Hold on. Let's see. So Will and I are partnership. And what the, the beginning of what we're going to do, podcast, will be with a certain person. And then we will continue podcast. And, you know, honestly, I don't know what podcast is. I, I can live for the rest of my life doing absolutely nothing. I can't wait to fall in love. What does Wendy want to do? Wait. <laughs> Did y'all notice how many times she said podcast, podcast, podcast? Uh, we're going to do podcasts. I don't know what podcast is, but I'm going to do a podcast. In this show. Whew. It's going to be different from your, from your TV show. Well, you guys, I mean, maybe sneakers. You know, I've been on HSN and QVC, correct? Mm -hmm. She won't blink. She will not blink. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll do something with that or something else. You know I have lymphedema. You know what that is, correct? I know. Okay. You don't know lymphedema? All right. I'll show you. Okay. You <sighs> it's hard to watch. Sure. Okay. Lymphedema is this. Do you see this right here? Look. Okay. See... No, look closely. Hold right. up. Please look. hold up. I can't hold it higher. Do you see? Yeah, we can see. Yeah. Okay. Do you see this? Yes. All right. It's up and down. Okay. Okay. That is. I can only feel maybe five percent of my feet. Wow. Do you understand? Right. Which means normally I would be in a wheelchair. Okay. What What are y'all saying? Um, yeah, it's not, it's really hard to watch, Michelle. I loved her after show. And from that to this is something definitely wrong. Yeah, she's not speaking correctly. It's given real delayed. I don't know. Um, she did show her her foot. That was not a stocking. It looked like some discoloration on her, um, ankle or something. Let me go back a little bit. See, look at here. She's really limber, though. I can't put my foot up there. Wow. Do you understand? Right. Which means normally I would be in a Let wheelchair. Do you see this? Yes. All right. It's up and down. Okay. Okay. That is, I can only feel maybe 5% of my feet. Wow. Do you understand? Right. Which means normally I would be in a wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair. I stand up. How are you feeling, Wendy? I know we saw some video of you out in New York City uh, last night, and you seem to be moving well. I mean, how are you feeling? I, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm just watching. Now, this is my first time watching the whole thing, too. So, um, Just physically. Better than you. <laughs> that's, that's no doubt, by the way. There's no doubt. Is this a semi-retirement for you? Excuse me, I am 
100% retired in the Wendy Williams show. And I don't want to be on TV except for guest hosting. Like I love Whoopi Goldberg. I love The View. I love those girls. You know, an hour, you know, two hours, you know, but I don't want to be in partnership, maybe, or maybe not. But I don't know, you know? <sighs> okay, well, Wendy does not know. She seems like she's uh, medicated or, or something, but uh, she's definitely, uh, she's been coached. She she says she's doing podcast podcast. That's all she kept saying. She didn't say a podcast, my podcast, the podcast. She said podcast, and then she admitted. She said, "I don't even know what a podcast is, but she's going to do one, and it all comes down to money and place." So uh, I don't know. If we should look for that or not because we didn't get too much information. But anyway, um. If you did notice, she Wendy was in her purple chair. That's one thing I can say. She was, she got her chair back. Y'all see, she in her chair. So, um, you know, the chair didn't make it to the, to the, <laughs> the chair didn't make it to the dumpster, honey. She had somebody out there waiting for it. So she got her chair and she got her wigs. And uh, I guess that's all that matters. Now they're moving on to, um, uh, to uh, the uh, Sherry Shepherd show. Now, I don't know if I'm, I'm not tuning into the Sherry Shepard show. I barely tune into the Wendy show. I used to see it on um, YouTube all the time. But I'm are they going to change Wendy's uh, YouTube channel to the Sherry Shepard show channel? Have they already done it? Like, are they giving her all of uh, Wendy's old social media? I want to know that. Okay. Um, anywho, prayers up for Wendy for a uh, swift transition into whatever she wants to do. I hope she decides to uh you know continue her career in media some kind of way i you know i just hope she gets better first because it's just kind of you know disheartening to see her speak like that now okay is that all i had to talk about i talked about nini i talked about i, don't know. I guess that's it i guess i take a few calls from you guys before i go uh click this link if you would like to uh join the stream let me know what you thought about this week's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Are you shocked that College Hill beat them in the ratings? What do you think about Nene's lawsuit being um, uh, Bravo trying to uh, demand that the lawsuit be kept under wraps? What do you think is going to happen? Let me know. You said, I will not be watching Sherry show the house that Nene built. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. I got to pin this. Hold on, y'all. Uh, no. Did it pin? Nope. And go ahead and like this video, please. And thank you. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Okay. Hello. Hey, Mickey. Hi, Michelle. How are you? How you always get in here first? What, you got me on speed now? No, I just be in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mickey be the first person. I love it. Always first. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm good, Michelle. That video made me so sad. It made me sad, too. It really, really did. Like, she looks like she's in really bad shape. Mm -hmm. And the so talking and, you know, the way she said podcast. And she didn't even know what podcast was. I, I just didn't like seeing it. Yeah, because, you know, I've been watching. Well, I watched your show for many, many years. And, you know, Wendy on that show was always very sharp. Mm -hmm. She was very enthusiastic. And, you know, her energy I mean, maybe she's on medication. I don't know. It just, she, like, as you said, she wasn't really blinking. Like, she's way too young to look like she's, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's just, you don't know how your life is going to end up. Like, someone's right. career, you know, it's really yeah. sad ever since, you know, that no good 
ex-husband of hers, you know, had that baby, she's just, it's been a downhill spiral for her. I think it started before that. Well, obviously before that, but I think it became visible, you know, once the baby, the divorce and everything, you know, it just became too much. Mm -hmm. Um, Nene, I want to watch College Hill. It looks really, (laughs) it looks really entertaining. But for as for this lawsuit, um, I just hope they don't pay her off for her silence. You know, because that's what they typically do. Well, I mean, know? most people file lawsuits for them to be settled. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure she, she, as far as exposing them, I mean, pay me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She spent the bulk of her life building up that network. So, but then what her- if it's like, okay, we'll pay you. But then you kind of have to walk back everything you said or you can never speak about us ever again. Because you know how they do, right? Yeah. It's like you have to sign all these NDAs and she can never really talk about anything. And that, like, we know her from Atlanta Housewives. That's going to be very difficult. If it happens, though, we will know that apparently, you know, Bravo, you know, admitted some wrongdoing. Well, you know that's what I'm true. And yeah, I guess it's up true. to us to decide will we keep supporting her? I mean, supporting them. That's true. Because it would be, yeah, it would, that in itself would tell us everything we need to know. Mm-hmm. It really, really would. Um, and as for um, the Titanic, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. you know, this season, Michelle, is really all over the place people are turning on i mean everybody's turning on everybody left and right and it's very it's like a it's like a tangled web every episode somebody's popping off on somebody and i'm very confused kind of like it's like one minute is saying and drew one minute is drew and sheree one minute is marlon kenya what like Slow down, you guys. This is not even what y'all think it is. Like, this is, it's not giving what y'all think it's giving. Right. And the funniest, it's too, much, it's too much battling. It's not enough enjoyment. Like, you know there's no saying? substance. It's not, it's not giving. Like, it's not, this is not 2012 when y'all was really doing it for real, for real. Uh-huh. You know, they think they're doing something. And the funniest part is that, like, they were selling this season as if it's the sisterhood and we call each other, we check out each other. And I remember Candy was just like, you know, back in the day, the previous seasons, we would only see each other when we filmed, but now everybody's checking on each other. But now it's like, y'all don't call me, y'all don't this, y'all don't that. It's like, girl. And you know, that scene where Marlo and Kenya... It's very ironic how she's telling her to get out of her face, but yet she has her face in Marlo's face. And she has her hand all in Marlo's face. It's like typical white woman behavior, Kenya. You provoke somebody, and then when they do something, you want to cry to call the police. Right. Typical Karen behavior, Kenya. And Marlo... And did you watch? Wait, did you watch the after show? Because Marlo was cracking me up on the after show. (laughs) <laughs> you know what she said about Kenya? It was like the funniest thing, Michelle. She was just like, why is Kenya, like, is she trying to be Don Juan's fill-in for the day? And oh. it was, I was... And Don that's what I felt. I felt like uh, every single time there's an issue between Marlo and Candy, Kenya steps in like she's the guard dog. She, no, you know what it is? It, it is that, and it's also like she wants to make, like, a parallel between... You're making, you're trying to make Candy look bad. You're trying to make me look bad. Stop doing that. Even that was their whole issue when they were at that lunch. And she told her that wig is off. You remember she was just like, why are you saying, why are you complaining about the hand-me-downs? Why are you trying to make Candy look bad? And then she brought it back to herself. Why are you trying to make me look bad? But what I'm saying is with Marlo Candy, right? Mm -hmm. I think Marlo, I think with Candy... Because I watched like a clip of her speak on it. 
mm-hmm. on on um, Instagram, and she was talking about, oh, they're trying to make me look bad. They're trying to, you know, have this narrative out that I'm a bad friend. Da da da. I think now she's realizing that she's kind of losing control of her narrative, mm-hmm. and I think that's why she got so turned up. Yeah, I I, I think that's that's true. Because even oh, almost- every time she get frustrated, she start crying. So. She starts yeah, crying. Her voice starts to shake in. She like, you can tell like, okay, oh, they set me up. But she does what she always, she does what she typically, what she always does is like, she gets one of her lap dogs, the candy cone click, and she gets them on her YouTube. And because her DJ, DJ A1, he was going off about all of them. It was oh, like, oh, Marlo this, Marlo that. And she was just sitting there. She was just agreeing with everything. And I'm just like, oh, my God, Candy. When she went off on that red carpet, mm-hmm. Candy, keep that same energy at the reunion. Don't have your lapdog, Kenya. Don't have your alliance member, Kenya, barking for you. Oh. Okay? You need to keep that same energy. Like, when I watched that clip, when she was doing the Neighborhood Talk, that interview on the red uh-huh. carpet, you better bring that same energy, Candy, because you've been coasting by all of these seasons for years. You're right. So you You're right. better do it. And Sheree, <sighs> God, Sheree. Sheree. <laughs> but you know what? It, but honestly, I have a question for you, Michelle. What? Do you think that as black people, as black women, do you think it's a good look? to bad mouth like each other's businesses on a show because i no, think it's like no. a run it's a trend you know with drop it with drew with well the sheree she does it to herself because so i can't really like i don't feel bad for sheree but even with everybody with the, you know kenya and just everybody like do you think that's a good look of course not no 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 because it's kind of like it makes them look really bad, to be honest. <sighs> you're right. You're right. Well, Mickey, I always appreciate you. And I got these people in the back looking at me crazy. And I um, I appreciate you calling in tonight. Thank you, Michelle. Have a good night. All right. You too. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Dang, somebody hung up. They was on camera. Hold on. Hey, Miss Pete. Hey, Michelle, thanks for taking me. I'm tired. Young lady, you come on late, girl. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. I'm trying, I'm trying. Don't, don't, don't be mad at me. I'm trying. But I'll come on earlier tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, so we're gonna take that as next week. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna try to be more consistent. Y'all just be oh <laughs> <laughs> this month been a struggle. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, I'm I'm trying to look. I'm be better in July. I'm trying. Look, I'm here, so that's all that matters. Okay, all right. So <laughs> take it day by day. <laughs> take it day by day. But Wendy, like Wendy, I know she did seem a little off, right? But if she does do a bo- podcast, I'm from DC, so I would ride up to um Atlantic City. And riding up to Atlantic City, Wendy will be on the radio. I always loved her. I really didn't watch her show, though. But on the radio, she did. I mean, that's how I knew Wendy Williams. So if she does a podcast, and it'll be less work, like she said, she don't need to be working every day. She need an hour or two of work and call it a day after that. Then um, as far as, like, Drop it with Drew. She couldn't do the exercises, which made it funny. All right. Like how we dropping it with Drew, but you can't eat. Drew, what's your this should be your no, regimen that you do every day or every other day, however many times you need it. I thought that um I think that Marlo and Sheree really like their only storyline. Okay, Sheree got stood up and Marlo you know, has her nephews, but their only storyline is to be like everybody else. I mean, Candy and Kenya ain't good friends. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, it is. It, 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 what's going on with your sound, though? My sound messed up? Uh-huh, it's clicking, it's clicking, it's clicking. I can hear you, but it's clicking. 
Oh, dang, I don't know what's wrong. Is it still clicking? Yeah, you want to hang up and call right back? Yeah, I'll hang up and call back. Okay. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, what's, what's up, Michelle? Mr. Hey, Motivation, man. what you want? <laughs> hey, listen. listen. Hey, so let me ask you this. What did you think about Moniella? Even though her scene was real, real brief, what did you think I about I like Moniella. I mean, I know Moniella personally. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, okay. I was saying, I, cool. I, I, I would be, she was interesting. Like, when you see her, even her chemistry between her and Candy, I'm like, okay, I can see her being a housewife. So, that's okay. number one. Number two. Well, she wasn't on there that long. But I know like, that, that's the same that. thing Slap Mom was saying, but I just, like I said, I'm an energy. I was, I like Candy. I like, you know, also I was looking how they would interact. She seemed like she okay. got a big personality. So, okay. Michelle, like, seriously. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's I feel sorry for Wendy Williams. Like for real, that is sad. Like that's my girl. Like I, you know, uh, I really just feel like she just need to kind of bow out gracefully. You know what I'm saying? She did her time. She's an like icon. She said she got enough money to never work again, but I'm sure she's still, you know, the way it happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like how abrupt it was. That yeah, I agree. Know what her name on it was just snatched like that. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. sure she don't want to just walk away, but yeah, you know, I get it. But I just, I just, I don't know. I just feel like as long as it's been, I feel like she should have been. You know what I'm saying? I can't. You can't really put a time on your health. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, but I'm just like it's been about two years now, mm -hmm. and so it's just like um, it's just unfortunate. So yeah, mm -hmm. that and then also um, what was I gonna say? Oh shoot. Oh, uh, you talking about Nene in the lawsuit? You talked about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say. Did you see Andy was that? What they were talking about? Something about Andy racist tweet, uh, uh, Andy racist Instagram or something. I think they put it in this Discord. I see what he said. We see each other. You saw that? I, I didn't see that. He said that. Hold on. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, is this what y'all talking about? Let's see. He said, "We see each other." See you know what? I don't. I don't. I don't honestly don't even take that as like bad shade. Honestly, you know, everybody know where that that line came from. And what's this? He posted something about Trump. What's this? I, see, uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's what was racist. What was this racist post? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think that was. I don't think he was being rude or anything. But yeah, that's why all I wanted. Um, yeah. So yeah. Oh, them rings. And uh, yeah, but I feel like that was a pretty good episode, honestly. I do. But okay, Michelle, I know you got a lot of people in the back. Ain't nobody in the back. Y'all done ran them all off. Oh, okay. Shoot, that's Mickey. That's all good. That's <laughs> listen, it's all good. It's yeah, all well, good. listen, can we at least get 50 20, 30 minutes on, on a on Patreon? I mean on Discord. Discord. Just 30 minutes. We you get and we'll see you next week. Oh, Patreon or Discord. Why I can't get well, okay. yeah, Patreon, Patreon. He, they, I fine. say the same. Yeah. Okay. yeah, okay, yeah. yeah Just 30 I'm minutes. In. You ain't got to be on that long. Okay. All right, then. Bye, y'all. Right. <laughs> you knew that uh, they were gonna ask, that he was going to ask that question. Didn't you? Hey, Miss P, welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Michelle. Is it, I wasn't going to call back in. That is much in. better. It's much better. I wasn't going to call back in, but when you was like, I ain't got nobody in the back. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Y'all y'all don't have to call in now. You know, I can listen. <laughs> I was like, well, let me just go ahead and call back. I can clock like, out. Is it don't clock out yet? Cause it's gonna be a week before we see you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. So right. how do you feel about Bravo um like uh demanding that they keep the, the negotiation or the arbitration private? How do you feel about that? Um, I really, I don't know how to feel. Cause like, I get like, we can see the blatant racism, like on New York, um, New, New, um, New York, um, I, I watch all of them. So uh -huh. I started watching them before, um, Atlanta came on when Atlanta came on, I ain't had no cable. I'm back to cable again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. So I ain't had no cable. I was living in the hood. The cable guy was scared to come over there and hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> and the hood, everybody.
they got cable though. Everybody, everybody had free cable. cable. Wasn't nobody paying for cable. So when I asked the cable people to come hook it up, they was like, nah. <laughs> That's all right. Did you move yeah. on up? Did you move just... on up from the east side? <laughs> right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I'm kind of confused because I get there could be because I was watching a chat and you know and listening to you and maybe she's just coming out of her agreement where she had to be quiet and couldn't say things mm -hmm. but how does she think that that bad joke she made at the escape uh concert oh about the the yeah. hours yeah and uh, i mean you don't think not you don't think you don't think that to carry anyway you think that people just overlook that i don't know i don't think that was I, yeah i don't think that was as big of a deal as people made it and exactly people made it that big of a deal so when you use the like bravo like people made it that big of a deal so <laughs> I mean, it was a joke, pe poor taste, whatever. I mean, it happened, all right? Right. But <laughs> it was a bad joke. And a lot of people well, like, What does that have to do with uh, it? So people aren't going to want to... Escape had to fire her. Candy was like, she didn't really want to fire her, you know, but it really wasn't up to Candy. Like, she got... Now, I'm still trying to figure out what does that have to do with now? People don't let nothing go. People will hold on to it to the day they die. Something that happened to them when they was 10 years old, they'll remember it and be like, remember you did this? And people don't believe in growth. And they will hold you accountable for a mistake you made for years later till the oh. day you die. I mean, that's just a thought process. But I'm still opinion. trying to figure out the logic. What is that? I mean, okay, so what's the point of bringing that up? So the blackballing. So, is it just uh, what's it called? Black Bo Bravo? Because what happened to the um other show she did uh the NBC show when she was over in Hollywood? That Why, was on Peacock. That was supposed to be on Peacock and Bravo. No, no, it wasn't on Peacock. It was already on TV. The show she did um. <sighs> with the tall lady, the tall white lady. Uh, I forgot the name of the show. Well, when she told them they came over her house too late and she wouldn't let them in. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember when they came to her house when they was over in Hollywood. Glee? Oh, Glee. That's the name of it. Yeah, what happened to that? That was canceled. Was she canceled before the show was canceled? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, she was okay. I ain't watched that show either. But I mean, sometimes you gotta think about your behavior. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. Just think about your behavior. Okay. It, it'll come back to bite you. Okay. You know. And when I told you she scrubbed, she might have him in her stories. But if you go look on her page, she does not have a picture of her boyfriend. Really? She don't. Nope. Go look, cause I looked. I was like, is you is look. that that's in her stories? No, this is on her page. Oh, when she posts that? January 1st. Oh, maybe I ain't go far back enough. <laughs> maybe she didn't either because she left one up. What's another one? But, I mean, she never had well, that. Put another, yeah, she, I mean, she had them on there. Where Peter's, where Peter's birthday picture's at? I'm confused. Why do you think she deleted pictures of him? I mean, I don't know. Why would she delete the pictures? Because where is Peter's birthday party? This her birthday party in December? I, after January. Peter, she, she ain't go that far back. She took off. Uh, maybe it's too many pictures. She ain't go that she far didn't back. She take no pictures down. Why, you, why do we care if she took pictures down or not? I mean, She's still with the man. Yeah, obviously, you know what I'm saying. You right about that, Michelle. I ain't really got that much, Michelle. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna hit chit chat with you to hold you up some time, so the chat don't get mad at me because I'm just wasting her time. I ain't wasting her time. I'm keeping her online it. for us. I get it. <laughs> you I know what I'm saying. It. But yeah, Marlo too much. 
Kenya, they first of all, Marlo got all up in Kenya's face. Where I come from, she shouldn't have, uh, if she would have walked up on me like that, I just would have just hit her because shouldn't nobody be in your personal space like that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So then she want to put her hands behind her back. Then the production is shady. Talking about, she don't talk about people's children, mothers, husbands. Then they showed it all back to back. You know. When's this? March 14th. Um, well, you, Michelle, I know that's right. Girl. Stick up for your girl. That's right. That's what a that's what a sister's supposed to do. Look, I'm just girl. saying, y'all be that's, y'all, that's y'all, y'all be saying girl, something. It don't be true. Y'all, y'all just be like this from a different mother. I ain't gonna say uh, sisters. <sighs> You know what I'm saying, y'all. Listen, okay. thank you, Miss P. I yeah, all right. Me. But I love me the A I love candy. Don't y'all keep coming for candy every time you come. Don't you be coming for Nene. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Michelle. Have a great night. (laughs) You too, Miss P. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. Real, do real things. Hi. What's up? Why you ain't on camera? Because I got. You know I like to see your face and your swoop. I got a sky phone tonight. So I was calling to say I love College Hill, honey. Oh my God. Okay. I did too. I, I like have so much, especially when Lamar was trying the wigs on. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I it, only saw the first episode. I gotta watch the second it, one. Tonight. It is so funny. Like it really is. I like I you know that I, I like the first episode. I was like, yep, they didn't drew me in. Let me go and get and it. And then he just so girl, she just Oh my God! It's just it's just amazing to hear back on TV. Uh huh. And, and what do you think about this lawsuit stuff? Honey? I think them lawsuit, honey. They just need to go ahead and make Nene whole girl and stop playing with this woman. You know, they want her not to talk. Because everything she's saying is true, and it's probably she probably have receipts back. I'm pretty sure she have receipts yeah. for the lawsuit. Hi. So um. Uh, yeah, I just think that you know they just don't want to be exposed anymore. More than what they already have been. I get it. I get it. I hope she get a big check. She gonna get a big check and stuff. Let's just don't. You just got. Let's just let's let it happen, and then we can talk a lot, a lot of shit. Okay, we gonna talk a lot of shit anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um. I think she finna, you know, they finna just go ahead and take care, but that she, they don't need to be trying to give her no little short money because she built the network anyway. Like she finna build BET because the Ooh. show is amazing. I love it. And all of the cast is doing their part. Okay. It is it's really good. Everybody. Everybody is so, it's just so. Except funny. for Stacey Dash, but we ain't gonna, you know. Well, Stacey Dash needed to be there because people needed to see, you know. She she just needed to be there, but now she she's gone. So that's just what she chose to do. They tried to help her, tried to talk to her, and then I seen somebody put say Nene and Ray J bully her off the show. Yes, <laughs> they bully her off the show. They was trying to get her to interact with other people, right? But they she was already to- about to leave anyway because she got into it with that girl with the dance at the dance team girl. She looked like she's fragile or something. That's what I'm about to say. She looked like she's still on something. Yeah, she looked. Because you know she was on drugs and alcohol, and she had been in rehab and all this stuff. And I believe that's why she lost her job at Fox. Not not to say anything is wrong with a recovering addict, but she's definitely looked like she was in withdrawal or something. Mm -hmm. You know, like she she needed. That's what. That's probably what. You know, the ambulance probably brought her something. You know, to calm her down. Uh huh. Wow. That's but, probably why she wanted the room by herself so she can do a little something at night. Yeah, well, you know, she's Hollywood, honey. You know, she'd have probably been on something for the last 25 years, if so. Ooh. Well, there's that. And catching up to her, but is she really looked like she's very fragile. She does. Oh, well. So, well, yeah. Well, I appreciate the real bitches. What you think about these ratings, honey? Oh, you know the rate. I just. 
I, and I don't want to. I don't want to act like I'm just so happy that these black girls not winning. But without Nene, these people ain't shit. Do they not understand this? It's just showing. every week they put it on something. Every single week, it was uh, it was the Oscars. It was uh -huh. the, it was the Global Globes, the Golden Globes. the Grammys, the Grammys. Yeah. Now it's the BET Awards. Well, the B everybody tunes in the BET Awards to see Nene Lee's. <laughs> they tune in the BET Awards to see Nene Lee's. Everybody they tune in to see Diddy. <laughs> I, I can't I know. See Nene and Big Frida and Lamar is so fucking funny, girl. Oh my god, <laughs> they, it's an amazing. Uh, they, I they like so Thug too, huh? I like Slim Thug too. Yeah, I like all of them. All of them mm -hmm. is so funny. Even mm -hmm. the young girls, Dream Girl, and the other girl, she so I really likes that other girl, India Love. India, her. India Love, uh huh. She is just so, she is just so in the moment, you know. Yeah. And she definitely walks in the truth. Okay. I love it. They are touching on, they play two subjects, I mean, two shows. They have touched on so much of different things, you know, especially with Slim Thug and, um, Big Freedom was having a conversation. Like, they are really touching. Okay, I'm sorry. You ain't watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm like, yep. hey, everybody keeps spoiling it for me. I'm trying to watch it late at night. That's it is it. so good, Michelle. I cannot believe you. Why It is so worth the $3.99. They really could have got $9.99 out of people. What? Because it's really good. Okay. Well, I definitely, I'm definitely, I already got BET Plus, so I'm definitely going to watch it. Uh huh. That's good. I'm I'm so glad Nene is back. Okay. They're gonna settle this lawsuit with her, so she's gonna really be a rich bitch. Okay. And even if you don't have BET Plus, ladies and gentlemen, you can still watch the very first episode on BET, um, on demand. So if you could pull it up, the first episode is free, and then you can decide if you want to see the rest of it. Uh, so. You definitely gonna want to see the rest of because I was hoping they would have put enough. When do it come on, Michelle? What day of the week? I don't know. I keep blocking this bot in the chat, y'all. That love chat XYZ. I keep blocking it. They keep coming back with another one. I done blocked three of them. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm saying with that because I watched it. I think I got it yesterday, Monday. Yeah, I think it. I don't know what day it comes on, but I hope they do like um, Housewives Girls Trip and just put like five of them on there. Uh -huh. <laughs> They should have put it because you would have watched it back. To, I, I think I, I'm going to watch it again when I hang up with you. They but, said it comes on on Monday. Okay. It's really good. Well, I appreciate it real big. Calling to see. I'm kind of happy tonight. Our girl getting back to normal. You know, she back out there. And she looked it so good. That navy blue looked it so nice. It did. Then she did. looked pretty. Her and her man, girl, on that red carpet and stuff. And she they did. Blown. All right, uh, real bitches. I'll okay. talk to you later. I appreciate you calling. Okay, have a good night. All right, you too. Shout out to real bitches. Do real things. Marceline, hey. You on mute. Can't hear you. Oh, hi, Michelle. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hope all is well. I'm good. Well, I was thinking that um, Real Housewives, I haven't really been able to I've tried to watch it, but I just couldn't get through it. Um, so what, why did you that, get through it? What was the what was the factor that stopped you from? Because like, it feels like they're playing to the camera and not enjoying each other. Mm -hmm. You know, before it seemed like they were really having fun with each other, and you know, um, like there were really true friendships there. Mm -hmm. All of it um, for some time, it just just seems more contrived or or uh, deliberately plan. Yeah, know, like and it's like Candy just showing up to work. She don't even want to be there. Like, mm -hmm. when she came to that spot, it was like, girl, I'm not getting my head, you know, messed up. Like, right. Like, yeah. yeah, so it just, it's, it's not, it doesn't have the magic that it used to have. You know, where they were actually friends and they could fall out and, you know, mm -hmm. you know get so back what together. So what do you think and, can fix it? You think there's anything that can fix it? No, they have to, they have to wipe everybody off. I, you know, I, I prefer, even when you had um, Phaedra, now I enjoyed the friendship with Phaedra and Candy when they were actually mm -hmm. friends, right? Yep. 
then it got to a point where there it was Phaedra and um, Portia. Portia. Yeah, it was it was actually you know friends really enjoying each other, and of course wow. Kim and Nene and Kim, you know Nene and whomever and else. Nene and Cynthia. Uh, yeah, and like now it's just like they just there to they they just there to do a job. Right, and then they bring so, the new people in, and they not friends either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And they're kind of there to do the job because, you know, that's what the culture is, you know, for mm-hmm. the for the, for them. And then I think bringing Kenya into the mix. I don't know. I think just her just being introduced to the show at, from the start, it for her, it was more like a job. Mm. And creating a whole lot of problems just kind of went, you know. Yeah, cause because she remember, Candy that. started that. Yeah. Remember, Candy started that show and she said, she always thought that she could, that Nene would be a good friend to her. She always felt like Nene was that, like that friend, you uh-huh. know, that she would all had always wanted or you know would be cool with. And that didn't happen. <laughs> There's nobody on there that you feel like I would love. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like there is nobody on the show where you feel like I would love to be friends with them. Like in my head, that's my best friend. Yeah, even Ken, even Kenya and Candy, like um, they say they friends, but you could tell they're not tight like that, you know. I don't see it. Exactly, exactly. And it just seems what? like they're throwing Candy under the bus in many ways. You think so? All of them? And it, I well, I think the show is because. They didn't used to kind of backtrack a lot and show previous. I mean, they would do it a lot with Portia. Like if she said something, then they would just kind of do flashbacks. It mm-hmm. seems like with Candy and Kenya, they're doing more flashbacks that maybe they didn't normally, you know, they really didn't do as often. They mm-hmm. do it with Nene a lot when it kind of got mm-hmm. to a place, I think, that, where there was a lot of attention. But it just seemed like they're just kind of purposely kind of helping um, her, uh, what's her name? Candy, dig dig a hole for herself. Because hmm. she's so well, boring. So what do you think about uh, the lawsuit? And what's going on Let's with see. that? Them trying to cover it up and, and take it private. <laughs> private arbitration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did I think about it? Yeah. Um, I think she's gonna get paid, <laughs> and I think Nini is probably like they, they must be talking some numbers where it's worth for her, worth it for her to just be quiet. Mm-hmm. That's what it says. So. All right, well, I appreciate you, Marcy Lynn, for calling in. She might as well because the rest of them. Did your mic go out? I can hear. Okay, well, can y'all still hear me? Put a one in the chat. Y'all can still hear me. Thank you, Marceline. I don't know if your mic went out or my mic went out, but I can't hear. Hold on. Y'all can still hear me? Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what had happened. I don't know what had happened. I'm still here, though. Uh, Anywho, I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. This has been fun. Uh, If you're just getting here, Go ahead and like this video. Oh, it's too many bots in here. Let me block them again. They keep coming back. Why they like me? I don't want to date nobody. They think I need a date, Ernie. <laughs> they must think I need a date. These bots is killing me. Um, okay, anyway. Um, yes, I've talked, we talked about Wendy Williams and her latest interview and how she said she's about to do a podcast and she didn't look like she was really all there. We talked about Nene Leaks and lawsuit update. We talked about the ratings. We talked a little bit about College Hill and we definitely talked about The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 episode 8 and the ratings. So we cover uh, a good little bit of things and we've been here for a good little time. Um I'm going to head over to my Patreon right now for a little while for the after show. Uh if you are not a Patreon member, you click the link. It's a link in the description box that says Patreon, patreon.com. I am ATL and $5 and above. You can be a part of my Discord and a part of my um Patreon list. They be in Discord all night long. I cannot keep up with them. Okay. 
Thank you to uh, all the people. I see the tr- Liz. I see the trolls. That's okay. They can drag me if they want to. Um, thank you to all the people who contributed to the stream. Thank you just for being here. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for disliking the video. Um, uh, Facebook thumbs up this video, please, and give me some stars. Okay, I need some stars over there on Facebook. You ain't got no money. That's all right. I ain't got none either, honey. Um. I'm headed over to the uh, Pantheon. Okay, Mr. Motivation is going to be so thrilled. Exactly, DL. You coming over, DL? I'm going to be there in a good little uh, 10 minutes. And um, I stay for a good little 45 minutes. Okay. I will see y'all over there. Again, if you're just getting here uh, or not, uh, like this video, uh, share this video, save this video, all of that jazz. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Click it twice. Make sure you have all notifications set so that you will get the notification as soon as I get go live and not tomorrow after I go live. Okay. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to look out for my BET Hip Hop Awards review. It's over on my um on my community tab. Uh, YouTube took it down for copyright, honey. It'll be back up tomorrow, probably on YouTube. But if you don't want to watch it on YouTube, you can watch it on Facebook. It's streamed over on Facebook as well. And it's still up on Facebook. I put the link in the community tab and or you can go to facebook.com slash straight from the A and you will see the uh, BET uh, review. Okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Y'all know I ain't got no money. I'm not She's rich. Very like, rich I'm not rich this like you. She's a very rich <laughs> she been in being the way before I was in being Okay. No, we came in business. Right? No, -uh. I was 20, 20, 2007. You've been in business. That's true. I've been in business. She's a very rich bitch. Oh, well, she's just a bitch. <laughs> oh my God. I am not. She's. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy. Hanging out with Straight from the A, you know. I love you guys. I always visit the site. But I want to preach. Straight from the A. Where you from? I'm straight from the A. A town. I like this bad. That's bad. What's going down? Straight from the A. This is Tyler Perry, and if you want the truth, a lot of blogs don't tell the truth. Straight from the A.com. That's what you check out. And you love us, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>